from Bybits here and I'm going to take you through our new range of uh, direct to battery hardwire chargers for, um, for your motorbike. Um, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, new chargers in our range. I'm going to take you through um, each one because they're all slightly different uh, and then I'm going to show you uh, one being fitted to a bike so you can see, um, you see uh, how it all works. So this, um, this first one is your basic, uh, most basic model. This one is um, plugs into your battery at one end, the terminal is correct to your battery and at the other end you've got um, a lighter socket, cigarette lighter socket, so you just plug into the cigarette lighter socket at the end. So this is the most basic model. Um, it's got a cap on the top of it but it's not, uh, it's not fully waterproof. Um, I mean obviously it's going to protect from water slightly um, but uh, uh, that's the most basic one. And we've got the same one here but this one has got a built-in uh, mount for uh, for your handlebars, um, so you can screw using these four screws here. You can uh, unscrew that and then put it screw onto your handlebar, so you've got a sort of a, a secure mounting for your handlebar. Um, so that's exactly the same as that one, except it's got the mount on it. We've got this one here. Um, this one is is fused. Um, it's got a, a fuse on it, uh, and also has the the mounting on it. And this cap is is fully waterproof. So this is completely waterproof. This one. Um, as you can see, it's quite hard to undo. Um, but there's a sort of a rim, ridged cap on top of it that prevents water from getting in there. So that's completely fully waterproof. That one uh, has the fuse on it as well. Um, so so far we've got just bare on its own. We've got one with a um, a bike mount on it, handlebar mount. We've got one with a fuse and a mount, and it's waterproof as well. This next one, um, put that aside for a minute. This one. Is this is uh, is also direct to battery? It doesn't have a fuse on it because it doesn't need one. It is waterproof. But rather than having a cigarette lighter um, attached on it, it's got two USB chargers. So if you've got a sync cable for your phone, if that's what you're charging charging your phone, um, then you can you can charge it directly from here uh, rather from the cigarette lighting charger. Uh, which is quite useful. Um, there are two on there as well, so you could charge two devices at once. And again, it's got the handlebar mount on it. And again, like the previous one, this is a waterproof, got a waterproof cap on it. Um, if you want the option to do cigarette lighter charging, but also USB charging, you can get a cigarette lighter charger, and you could also buy this, which is a, um, an adapter that plugs into the cigarette lighter socket at that end and then gives you two USBs in the same way that this one does. So if you want the option then you can get one of the cigarette lighter -like charger ones and this adapter as well. So that's quite handy. The last one, this is the Daddy, this one's uh, got a few extra cables on it as you can see. This one also has a fuse on it. This one also goes directly to the battery. It's also got the mount and it's also fully waterproof at this end. But what we've got here is we've got a relay. Um, and this yellow cable here with the cable connector would connect to your, um, the positive terminal of your ignition so that when the ignition is turned off, the relay basically turns it off and you're not getting a drain to the, to the battery anymore. So even if your device stays plugged in, the way that the relay works means that when you turn the ignition off, you're not charging the device anymore, which means you're not draining your battery. Um, I'm not going to show you sort of this one being put on the bike because I'm not a qualified bike technician or um, or electronics specialist, uh, and therefore um, I don't want to don't want to start attaching it to the bike. It's bike. Um, I would recommend that you take a similar approach if you know what you're doing. I'm sure plenty of uh, of you out there do. Then by all means you can fit it yourself. But if, if you're not entirely sure, uh, take it to your local bike dealer or um, or audio electronics or audio, auto electronics specialist, um, and they will fit it for you. Likewise with these actually. If you're really not sure, then it's best to have someone to fill it for you. Um, so those are your options. Let's take you through them again. This is the basic one. So battery at one end, cigarette lighter at the other. Number two, battery at one end, cigarette lighter at the other, but also with a handlebar mount on it. Option number three, waterproof, cap, fuse, and battery. Option number four is... Battery at one end, waterproof cap, but double USB. Not forgetting, of course, you could get any of the others with this, the USB adapter. And then the final option is fully waterproof, 
with the fuse and the battery at the other end with uh, the mount but the relay that, um, that connects to the, to the ignition as well. So let me show you, um, take it outside now and let's, uh, let's see it fitted. So I'm going to fit um, the example that we've got with the waterproof cap um, and the fuse um, show you how we fit that one. All the other ones fit in much the same way, like I said, with the exception of the relay, um, the relay one, the last one I showed you, because obviously we need to do some electronics and wire it into the back of the, of the ignition, and as I said, I'm not really qualified to do that. So um, I'm going to show you how to fit this one, uh, and the other ones will, will all fit in, in pretty much the same sort, of, uh, uh, same sort of way. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's zoom in on the battery so you can see the battery. In terms of the battery, you see over here we've got negative terminal, the black one, positive terminal, the red one. So what we're going to do is take our terminals on on the cable that I've got here. Let's just leave it there so it's not too stretched. I'm not actually going to show you do this because we take it ages to unscrew these terminals. But that that one there, the black one, black wire, we'll unscrew the terminal here and then screw that that ring in underneath. And then likewise here with the positive terminal, unscrew that that screw there. And again stick that terminal in underneath and screw it back on. Then what you're going to do is find your safest route. You've got the fuse here obviously, it's just your standard blade fluke fuse. You've got to find the safest route then for that cable to reach the front of the bike where we're going to mount it on the handlebars. Um, so let me show you how I do it on here and then I'll show you the handlebar at the front. So here we go, I've sort of connected these up here. Um, I'm just going to sort of trail it along the bike. The really important thing um, to remember, you can do it whichever way you want, because obviously we've got our Triumph here, but all bikes are going to be different, so, um, so you've just got to sort of find the best way that you can. Um, I'm going to keep the fuse underneath the seat here so that doesn't get caught on anything, um, but the, the, the two key things to remember are keep the cable well, well clear of any of the hot parts of the bike, so sort of anywhere near the engine or any, any part of the bike that gets really, really hot, um, you must keep the, the cable clear of that because obviously it's just going to melt through the outside of the cable and then your cable's ruined and that's no good. The other thing is to make sure that nothing gets trapped anywhere, so when we put this seat back on we'll make sure that it's nice and, uh, nice and clear so that, uh, again, the, the wire doesn't get pinched and doesn't get sort of cut. Um, or shear uh, uh, part of the cable off because again the wire will be ruined and you won't be able to use it. So those are the two things to be, be clear of but just sort of trail it and keep it out of the way of where you be so we might sort of put it down here and under here like that and then eventually we come up to the top where we can mount it. So I'll give you a little zoom in shot for the next one and I'll show you how to mount the, uh, the cigarette lighter on, on the bike mount it on the central part of the handlebars just here we've got two sections that screw together the first bit is the bit with the actual cigarette lighter charger on it which has got the plate inside the little dent which you put around the handlebar we we'll clip that in there and then the back plate which is got the, the gap in it for the handlebar and then a rubber grip to make sure it's nice and tight we're gonna put that behind like that fasten the top the front bit on like that, so it's nice and tight. And then we've got four screws that we're going to screw in place to make sure it stays in position like this. There we go. So it's really, really easy to fit. And once it's there, you know, you can you can leave it there and it's fine and it stays linked to the battery. And once you disconnect your device from the cigarette lighter charger, then it doesn't. It's not powering anymore, so it's not taking your draw from your battery in any way, shape, or form. So you're not gonna you're not gonna run out of charge. So you don't have to keep constantly lifting, sort of taking it off the battery. Um, obviously, with the with the relay charger, the sort of the top of the range one that I showed you, um, that one you can keep it you can keep it to, uh, attached to the battery and keep the device attached. And as long as the in, 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 ignition's been switched off, then that won't take a draw from your battery either. So that's um, that's an extra an extra bonus for that one, which is why it costs a little bit more. But like I said, it's really really simple to mount, and once it's there, it's it's great. And if you wanted to possibly charge via um, the USB as well, then we do sell that that little adapter I showed you early on that you could stick in the top of the socket, and you could charge them two devices via the USB, taking that two amp charge from there. So there we go. Um, that's all mounted and, and uh, a nice and uh, 
nice and secure. And uh, you can get yourself down to buybits.com and buy one of our new range of direct-to-battery hardware cables.